Good morning, homespun friends. It is great to see you today. It's Thursday morning. Um, normally, my husband has Thursdays off, but he ended up having to go into work today because we had a death in our church yesterday. And so to get prepared for the funeral and the arrangements, he went into work today. I think that funeral is going to be on Saturday. Um, Irene was such a special lady. She sang in the choir in the alto section most of the years that I knew her, except for maybe the last few months that she hasn't felt very well. The Sunday before Easter, I saw her and she was peering into the choir room where we gather before worship on Sundays. We do a little tuning up and we pray together. And she was peering into that big plate glass window. And I said, Irene, are you going in? And she said, no, not today. You know, she said, I've been out with this tickle in my throat and I just can't get rid of it. But as soon as I get better, I'm coming back to sing. And I said, well, your place is still there and we miss you and we miss your beautiful alto voice. And she smiled really big and away she went. And that was the last time that I saw her on this earth. And I will miss her. She was a sweet lady. She started having more respiratory problems. Right around Easter, she went in and they intubated her. And she was pretty much in ICU from there on out. We were hoping that she could recover, but God called her home. It was her time. And so um, we will remember her as we have her funeral, probably on Saturday. And so this morning when my husband got ready to leave and go meet the family, I decided that I was going to run to Walmart and get a few things done. And I really, most of the time, do not like going to Walmart. Does anyone else feel like I do about going to Walmart? But that is where I usually buy my husband's saline solution. He needs that. I need some uh, tablets for my dishwasher. So I need to go in and get those things done. I'll probably try to pick up a few other things while I'm there. So maybe I can avoid going to Walmart for another week or two. And I thought about, sometimes I think about doing a small haul when I get a few items and just filming that for you guys. I know I've done some of that in the past, but I don't know. I don't know how interested you are in seeing the few small items that I pick up at Walmart now and then. Um, if you think you would like that, let me know and maybe I will do a video on that. But before I leave, I wanted to come and just spend a minute of time with you. Yesterday evening, on my way to church for my Bible study and prayer meeting time, I tried to do a card chat for you guys. Well, I didn't try to do it. I did it. But it was hilarious when I watched it back. Oh, my goodness. Trying to drive and talk is difficult. And just trying to talk into a camera is difficult. If you want a humbling experience, open up a camera and turn it towards yourself and start talking and you will quickly be humbled because it's tough to do sometimes and so I decided I wasn't going to show you that even though it was kind of cute and I talked like crazy I talked about everything under the sun while I was driving um, I decided that I was just going to delete that one um, but I did say so, uh, some things I thought you guys might be interested in knowing and for the life of me now they're all leaving me what was I going to talk about um, one of the things I was going to tell you about is my daughter had her C-section scheduled, and it is scheduled for June the 26th. Now, she is thinking about changing it, but if she changes it, she's probably going to have to change the doctor who does it, because he is going to be gone on a, a conference all around that time period. And so, and as soon as he comes back from the conference, his family is going on a vacation. So, that's the one little window of time that he has. He really wasn't going to work that day at all, but he decided that he would come in for her because he has done her previous um, baby. So um, so anyway, we'll see what happens. But June the 26th is the, the date that we have on the books for right now. And Natalie has two children. She has a son named Brody. He's almost four and a daughter, Baylor. And Baylor is two. And then she's having another little boy. And I think they're going to name him Braxton. So we're excited we're going to be grandparents for the eighth time, and that's a blessing. We found that out this week. Oh, my husband has his John Deere in the John Deere doctor office. And the reason that he has it there is because he ran over a stump with it on Saturday. And it tore him up. He was so upset because he loves, you know how men are about their machinery anyway. And he loves that John Deere to pieces. And he had been grinding some stumps. We don't have many, but we have a few. And those of you who have watched me for a while have been outside with me and see the line of trees that we have there in our backyard. Well, he had ground down a couple of those stumps or he had taken down some trees that were scrubby and not looking so good. And um, right near that is some grass. And he said, I knew as soon as I did it that I should not do it because I may not have ground that stump down deep enough. 
that he did go over it just kind of, you know how you are, you're riding along the mower, and as soon as he went over it, he was like, oh man. It just started grinding and had some issues. So anyway, the John Deere is at the John Deere Repair Shop. Dollar signs roll around in my eyes when you say John Deere Repair Shop. But we'll see what happens. Um, but he's wanting it back because our grass, you know, it's rained so much. Our grass is really getting deep now. And he's the kind of person that usually cuts his grass twice a week. I mean, he's pretty much obsessed with his yard. So it's tough for him. He's called every day to check on it, to see if they've had time to look at it. But it's springtime, and I'm sure everybody has their mower in up there that has any kind of problem with it because people are pulling out their mowers and getting their yards, you know, in shape. So I told him, just be patient, honey. It won't be long, and, and they'll have it repaired. We'll probably have to borrow one from somebody before then, though, because I'm looking out the window, and it looks like it needs to be cut. That happened this week. Um, what else happened this week? I know there's some other things I had to tell you guys. Well, I've been working on my Little Rose business. Are you guys tired of me talking about that yet? <laughs> well, um... Well, it's just something that's on my mind a lot because, as I told you, I have the opportunity to be promoted to supervisor, but I'm going to have to meet a certain goal by the last day of the month, which is Sunday night, and I'm about $280 away from that goal. I probably, if I got close, could buy some clips myself and make up the difference in that, but... Um, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not. So um, we'll just see what happens. I mean, it's been a wonderful month. Whether or not I'm make supervisor, it's okay. Let me see. Somebody's calling me. Oh, that was my mom. I'll call my mom right back. She tried to call me yesterday afternoon, and I was right in the middle of something. It seems like the last two to three weeks have been non nonstop action for our family. I don't know what it is, but... It's like I'm on the phone constantly driving somewhere, holding a cam camera, trying to get things done, uh, on my computer all the time trying to respond to emails and things like that. So it's busy, busy time. But it's good to be busy. I like it. But, you know, you do like a break now and then. Um, but I haven't, I haven't really had one. I think after Sunday, when I try to reach this goal with Little Rose, I'm going to rest for just maybe a few days. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I have viewed... The clip of the month for May, wow, just wow. If you have a wedding coming up or a wedding for anyone in your family, you're going to want to see this clip that is coming up on May the 1st. It is gorgeous. It's white flowers. It's so, so pretty. And they're bringing back some other favorites from um, months that have gone by. Um, they're bringing them back for people that want to order them. So that's going to be exciting to see. Um, and I have been just keeping up with all of my, you know, my chores around the house. And I've been using my essential oils. I've been enjoying those. And I've been doing my scripture writing. And today's scripture writing um, is a wonderful passage that brings a lot of comfort to people. And I struggled a lot with trying to draw this. Let me show you what I did. Um, let's see. I can get over there. Here we go. It is out of Matthew 6, and I'm going to show you what I drew. I drew that little bird, and that was such a struggle for me to do. I don't know why, but I really struggled with it. And at some point when I was drawing it, I thought to myself, you know, I'm struggling to just draw a little bird on paper. Imagine how awesome God is to create everything that we have in this earth. To not just draw it, but to create it with bone and blood and feathers and and make it so that it can fly in the air and and just everything about creation is amazing to me god is an awesome creator so i started thinking about that as i was doing this and then i thought he is so mighty and so wonderful that he made everything that our eyes can see and yet we still worry and we still fret about the everyday things of life when we know that we are his children and we can trust in him to provide for us so that was in my, that was last night as I was drawing this out. And it says, that is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough to, uh, food to eat or drink or enough clothes to wear, isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store. Um, for your heavenly father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all of your worries add a single moment to your life? 
And then we talked recently in our book study about worries and anxieties for the month of May, the entire month of May. Our scripture writing guide is going to be on um, scriptures that talk about anxiety and fear. So I think it's going to be good for all of us to participate in that because that is something that strikes us all every day. We have anxieties and fears. And yet here in Matthew, the scripture tells us that we're not supposed to worry about these things. The birds don't worry. Um, we're not supposed to worry about what we're going to wear or what we're going to eat or how things are going to take place because we know that we can trust in the Father. One of my good friends this morning on Facebook posted something that it really struck me. As soon as I read it, I felt convicted by it. And let me see if I can tell you what it said, the way that it said it. It said, when we worry... We worship the problem instead of the God who can fix the problem. And I love, love, love that. You know, when we worry and when we obsess over our worries, then we are worshiping our problems and not the God who can fix our problems. I love it. I love that. So think about that as you go through your day. That is what I have been doing each day as I take in these scriptures. I'm thinking, Lord, give me the scripture today that I need to focus on for today. And this is the scripture he's given us for today. And I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to remember, I'm not going to worship my problems. I'm going to worship my Lord. He is over all of it and can fix any problems I might have. Friends, it is a joy just to share with you this morning, to talk with you a little bit. Um, I have missed coming to you every single day like I used to, but I'm going to try to get back on that track once again. Let's hope that I can, um, because I love reading your comments below and seeing you every day. And I look forward to next time. Bye-bye, friends.